Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to sort of our Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. Hopefully you guys are having yourselves a great day today. And if you do want to go and support the episode, make sure you drop a like down below. Of course, your support is greatly appreciated. And today, we're going to be taking on the champion of the Kanto region, meaning that this is actually the last episode of our Fire Red series, which is unfortunate. However, it's time to finally wrap this up and start the new series. So I'll talk about that later. However, let's get a quick team recap going. And also, since this is the last episode, 500 likes if we could do that. That'd be awesome if you want to see the new series this weekend. But either way, here we got Mewtwo, or Gummy, I should say. Uh, the Mewtwo is Psychic, Surf, Outrage, and Recover. We have Linus the Minin. Never thought I'd ever be taking a Minin into a champion battle, but you know what? There's a first for everything. Thunderbolt, Thunder, Thunder Wave, and Flame Wheel. Then we have Gerald the Heracross with Brick Break, Mega Horn, Wing Attack, and Strength. Calypso the Milotic with Surf, Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, and Psychic. Statue the Rhydon with Earthquake, Rock Blast, Meteor Mash, and Fly. And the Fallen team member, Trident to I don't even have to say its moves. It's not alive. Uh, so yeah, we had one death up until this point in the Elite Four. So, I mean, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Uh, but without further ado, I... I think this is probably, you know, the best option we have to lead off with being Mewtwo. Uh, without further ado, let's just, let's just do it, man. Let's just hope for the best. All right, but here is Nexus. Hey, Supra, I was looking forward to seeing you. Uh, my rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would be any Pokemon type. And now I'm the Pokemon League champion. Supra, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. And holy crap, that is loud. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. <laughs> Pardon me. Jeez, that was... Going straight into my brain. All those sound waves. All right, Raichu. 65? Guess we just gotta hope this isn't, like, the surfing Raichu. Because I feel like that's the only thing that Raichu could do to, uh, the statue, right? Yeah, because that's not even touching me. Quick attack? Nah. Tail whip. There you go. Never mind. Never mind. Apparently, Raichu was a full-on counter to ride on. That should kill, though. Like, I don't want to be too cocky, but... Ah, there we go. All right, it's actually funny that we're taking on Nexus because this weekend, a series is starting with Nexus. I've already teased it on Twitter, uh, so I don't mind just, like, straight up talking about it. But yes, you're getting two new series this weekend. Solo Project and a co-op, or versus, I should say, with Nexus. Uh, let's go to Gerald here. One of the instances where I did not see the Pokemon, I was looking at the camera. Uh, oh, that works out perfect. All right. Go straight up for the Brick Break. And there we, that should kill. Come on. Two back-to-back -back one shots. Oh no, wow. All right. Dude, I thought that was Metal Burst and I almost just had a heart attack. Oh, we would have been so dead if that was Metal Burst. All right, full restore, of course. Actually don't mind if we waste the full restores on Pokemon that we can one shot or almost one shot because now, when it gets to the harder Pokemon, can't heal. Alright, don't go for another one, though. There we go. That's not much better, though. It's just waste the turn. Dude, let me kill you. This is going to kill no matter what. Eventually. Nexus, I don't know what kind of strategy you're trying to do right now, bro. I don't know if it's working in the UCL or something, this double protect strat, but it's not working here, bro. It's really not working here. All right, who's up next? Gardevoir. I have no idea. Maybe Calypso? I know this, th uh, this Pokemon gets access to Magical Leaf. I highly doubt it's going to have that. Um, I can't exactly remember if Gardevoir gets Thunderbolt or not, but it shouldn't have it no matter what because it doesn't get it by level up. I don't know. There's just so many things that I feel like I should be worried about. Ooh, okay. Like Hypnosis, but... Thank God it missed. Just missed one more time. I'll take it. Or just don't go for it at all. That's honestly better. Just die. Oh my God, so close. Please. Oh, I knew it was coming. I knew the full restore was coming. I just wanted to hope. All right, let's try a hydro pump. That's what I probably should have done originally. However, I just, I don't know. I didn't really want to miss. And I feel like I'm just gonna miss every time I- Look at that, it seems like in the, like, 
In the moments where we don't really need to hit Hydro Pump, we hit it, but then when we absolutely need to, we'll miss. Because like that moment right there, not super clutch, we could go for Surf, so of course we're gonna hit the move, but as soon as we're on 1 HP, you know, and the Hydro Pump is the only move we have that can kill, that's when it's gonna miss. It's gonna miss like five times in a row also. Pelipper, I am so glad that Linus gets to shine in this battle. I am so glad that we're actually able to pick up a kill. Well, I don't want to get too cocky, but I don't know. I'm feeling pretty confident that a Thunderbolt can kill. I don't know. Let's see. It's actually hilarious that Nexus has a Pelipper too. Please have a Macargo. That'd be hilarious. Actually, did any have a Macargo like way earlier in the playthrough? Now that I think about it, I don't know. All right, uh, Doug Trio. I guess Calypso is probably the best option here. And then we got one more mana to take care of after this, so it's looking pretty swell right now. It's looking pretty good. Not getting too cocky, but I don't know. Unless that just completely one-shots Calypso, because if that's the case, I have no idea what we're going to like do to kill this Doug Trio. Maybe I should have went for Hydro Pump. Nope, doesn't even matter. Perfect. All right, and last Mon. Machamp. Ooh, that's actually kind of scary. If Gummy goes down, I don't know what we're gonna do. All right, well, the moment of truth. Will Psychic kill? We shall see. Come on. I don't think it will just cause like, you know, it's seven levels above me, but. Or not. I will take that any day of the week. All right. Well. Player defeated Champion Nexus. No, that can't be. You beat me at my best after all of the work to become the Pokemon League Champion. My reign is over already. It's not fair. I'm really hoping this is like a sign that I'm going to beat Nexus in the upcoming verses. Really hope it is. It's probably not, but darn it. You're the new Pokemon League Champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Supra. Here comes the homeboy Oak. So you've won! Sincerely congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League Champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with that <laughs> Bulbasaur. Alright, to work on the Pokedex. Supra, you have come of age. Nexus, I'm disappointed. Uh, I came when I heard you've beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Nexus, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Obviously. Without them, it's probably also because he didn't have a Mewtwo. That might be a reason, I'm not sure. Never become a champ again. Supra, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon is marvelous. Supra, come with me. And I just noticed, I don't think we fought a single legendary Pokemon in that Elite Four run. Which is really interesting, actually. It seems like we would have seen a couple more. Or at least one. This floor is the, uh, the Pokemon Hall of Fame. The Pokemon League Champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Supra, you have worked hard to become the new League Champion. Congratulations, Supra. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Yay! And there we go. There's another Nuzlocke under the belt. Uh, I know a lot of people did want me to do the post game for Fire Red because I talked about it early on. Not gonna happen. You have to catch like a lot of Pokemon. You have to go do a bunch of stuff and it's just not even worth it. I just want to move on and it'd only be like two episodes anyways. It's not really worth it. Trust me, it's not that exciting. It's fun to play, but I don't think it'd be that exciting. But um, that's the squadron for the Elite Four. Unfortunately, we did lose Trident, but pretty solid team. I mean, Linus made it work. So shout out to the people that said to put Linus on the team. Definitely wasn't a bad option. I mean, <laughs> there's definitely better choices, but Linus definitely came through. Definitely, definitely, definitely. So, let me speed this up, because this takes forever. And we've all seen the credits. It, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that was our Fire Red playthrough, uh, or Nuzlocke randomizer, whatever you want to call it. Thank you guys for watching. It's not over just yet. I want to take a look in the death box and uh, look at all that stuff. Uh, just recap on the journey. I don't know. I like to do that normally. Uh, but a couple, not a couple, a lot of people have been asking, what is the next series going to be? And I will tell you, well, I'm going to tease it right now. I'm not just going to straight up tell you because there's no fun in that at all. But um, let's see, what is the next series? So I decided uh, that we're going to step away from main series games just for a tad, just for a tad. So both of the series starting this weekend are going to be ROM hacks. So the solo project is a ROM hack and what's it called? The Versus with Nexus is a ROM hack. So that is exciting. I've, I don't think I've played two ROM hacks I have once on the channel before, so or yeah yeah rom hacks so 
That should be rather exciting. I was thinking like, should I say fan game or ROM hack? But no, I'm pretty sure it's a ROM hack. Uh, but those games are going to be very, very fun. Uh, the solo project game I played before, uh, not on my channel though. Played it on Twitch and that's all I'm going to give actually. That's the only clue. That's a pretty big hint. I haven't played that many games on Twitch, but let's check out the death box. Yeah, so um, a lot of people were making fun of me for having like 20 something deaths in the verses with patterns and having like only eight in this playthrough. How does that make any sense? I have no idea. Uh, but you know what? I mean, I'll take it. That's pretty solid number of deaths, pretty low. Um, after Gengar, like, we didn't have a lot of deaths for, like, a couple episodes. Actually, not even a couple episodes, more than a couple episodes. Then finally Raichu fell, and then Trident fell, but, um... You know what? We had some pretty solid mods in the PC, too. Definitely a successful playthrough, definitely a fun play uh, playthrough. It seems like you guys really enjoyed it, too. Uh, so thank you all so much for that, and I, I just really hope that you guys enjoy the next series. Um, the game is kind of long, and when I say kind of long, like, it's actually really long, but I don't think we'll be playing the full entire game just because I don't want to have, like, 100 part playthrough, you may. You, you dig? You feel me? Uh, but right there is where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode and the playthrough. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, make sure you drop a like down below. Five from the likes is the goal. If you can hit that, that'd be awesome, but I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.